The UFC is a whole world within itself. The mixed martial artists are more than just fighters. Time and again, they prove they are flawed humans just like any of us. Today, we'll take a look at moments filled with players' tomfoolery, jokes, fails, and banter. Stick with us until the end if you're looking for a good laugh. The tall, brooding, muscular fighters might not be as good with their brains as they are with their kicks and punches. In fact, they appear to be kids on the inside at times. And well, aren't we all just little kids at heart? Silly little jokes and banter always help to lighten the mood and make the insufferable scenarios somewhat tolerable and memorable moments. They're a humble reminder of how these players are people just like us. Today, we'll talk about the funniest moments in the history of UFC. Let's dive right into it. Eyes glued to the phone screen, Brazilian mixed martial artist Johnny Walker trips over his steps as he walks up on the stage to face his opponent. Trying to get a hold of his phone, he's seen fidgeting around while still being on the ground. People around try to help him to his feet, and Walker tries to cover up his fall by posing as he looks at the phone. The crowd breaks down into laughter, and with a wide smile on his face, Walker walks up to his opponent and shakes his hand. <laughs> I'm still surprised how the other guy's standing there with a straight face. Apparently, this isn't the first time Walker has tripped on stage. Energy drained and blood-stained face and hands? Nothing to worry about, as long as Stipe Miocic is winning, he doesn't care. Here we can see Miocic celebrating his victory by doing some tap dance just before walking out of the ring. I'm not 100% sure this is what fighters mean when they say they were dancing in the ring, but okay. And we can all admit his footwork's just as amazing in his dance as it is in his martial arts. Truly impressive. Here's a fighter and a dancer. We all admire a multi-talented guy. The longtime tradition of drinking alcohol out of a shoe, the shoey, Australia still does it. Australian mixed martial artist Tai Tuivasa, as always keeping up with the tradition of his homeland, drinks the beer out of someone else's sneaker. As we can see, Cub Swanson making a face. While some people find the shoey to be disgusting, it's still a source of amusement for a lot of sports enthusiasts worldwide, and it's generally considered as a way to celebrate the win. Tai Tuivasa is said to be the king of shoeys in the world of UFC. Just look at that man go. Adrenaline rushes really make us do wild things. That is not his sneaker. Oh, of course it's not. That would be delicious. Oh, Cub Swanson getting in the air. Here we see American mixed martial artist Mike Perry and Alex Oliveira, also known as the Cowboy from Brazil, dancing energetically before they begin the fight. What a way to warm up before the game begins. While Oliveira is still outside the ring, he's not paying an ounce of attention to his coaches. Both of the fighters seem to be really hyped up. They're just happy to be there, am I right? It's always heartwarming to see such fun-filled moments. Fagan, do you agree? I absolutely agree. You guys, there's Mike Perry. I was hoping there Another Mike Perry moment. The mixed martial artist enters the octagon. However, that's not his song. It's Queen Bee's Halo, but Perry doesn't mind grooving to it. It's evident everyone loves Beyonce's music. Just look at the energy and enthusiasm Perry singing along to the song with. It's wholesome and hilarious at the same time. Who doesn't love Queen B? What the I showed that he has a well-rounded well skill set. That's Mike Perry for you. Like Just kind of rolled with the punches. I mean, Mike Perry. Kevin Holland got some moves. He's dancing freestyle and throwing kicks in the air after he won the fight. More importantly, what makes him more relatable is him asking to see the boys. No matter what you do and where you are, the homies will always come first. Celebrating with the guys should always be your number one priority. Fights, celebrations, and even medical support can wait. Nothing is more important than the boys. I mean, with ease, John. With ease. The, boys real quick. the celebration is on in the city kickboxing locker room. Nice to see Kai Kata France getting in on just take a look at this. This has to be one of the most wholesome moments between two UFC fighters. While addressing a press conference, Conor McGregor takes his time out to compliment Cowboy Cerrone for his unique way to dress up and fashion sense. They exchange a light conversation about Cerrone's suit and the stuff it's made up of, and let's just cross our fingers that Peter doesn't find out about it. In case you didn't know, Conor McGregor is a big fan of dressing up and has his own line of designer suits. 
Now, I personally think this is a great idea now that his glory days are coming to an end. One of my personal favorite and most hilarious UFC moments is American mixed martial artist Henry Cajedo bringing up pillows with opponent Dominic Cruz's face on it and kicking them around the hall before going into the ring. Cruz cannot contain his laughter at all and fails to keep a straight face. Everyone does the trash talk thing, but who can pull off something so funny so smoothly like this? Let's just hope he fights as good as he jokes, otherwise this is going to be one embarrassing stunt. Khabib Nurmagomedov might be one of the greatest UFC fighters, but how's he doing at the game of pool? I think it's safe to say he can easily defeat the three-time Abu Dhabi pool champion Adam Cotterall any time of the day. When you've spent your childhood fighting bears, pool doesn't seem like a big challenge. I'll let you ah. <laughs> We got a new champ. Jack the Joker Hermanson is seen play fighting and goofing around with one of the coaches, Monson Bahari. It's a funny and wonderful way to get along with your team while learning at the same time. We love to see such lovely moments of friendship, bonding, and banter between players from time to time. I think it won't be wrong to consider Mike Perry one of the funniest dudes in UFC, because here's another video of Perry dabbing in front of the cameras before the commencement of the fight and the trio of commentators seem to be thoroughly enjoying the show Perry's putting up through their screens. We're halfway through. If you like this video so far, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel to catch up with more content like this. The mixed martial artist from Brazil, Amanda Ribas, cannot contain her excitement after the spectacular win. Ribas fails to conjure up words on live TV when asked about her victory. All we get to see is Rebus jumping around, voicing a weird mix of incomprehensible words, but her joyful squeals are pretty audible. The anchor seems to understand really well and lets her go. We're all here to root for her. Rebus, you go, girl. I thank you. Salam alaikum to everyone. <laughs> I was trying to learn some. Right. Congratulations. Uh, safe trip home. Thanks thank for you. starting off the pay-per-view properly tonight, Amanda. I Conor McGregor, the Irishman, is very honest about all his answers. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. No rules ever violated, and clearly he's never hit anyone on his job. You and I can blindly testify for him anytime, right? He's good to go, I think. Still wondering why Conor and the journalist broke down in a burst of laughter towards the end? Floyd Mayweather does not get a single word about the question the journalist asked in his thick accent, nor do we. There's a hilarious, puzzled expression on Floyd's face, but it's all good and fun as long as our favorite boxer is getting the best of wishes and being called a champion, which he is. All right, folks, that concludes our video. Let us know in the comments which UFC moment you found to be most hilarious on this list. See you in the next one. Till then, take care.